Hello and welcome to Mahindraguru.com. You are watching VDP of Maths. Today we are going to discuss the coordinate geometry part 3. The last time we discussed if we have given two points or more than two points, how we will calculate the distance between the two points or the midpoints between the two points. Today we will discuss if we have given two points or more than two points in a Cartesian plane, then a point divides the two points whether it may be internally or it may be externally in the given ratio. So what are the formulas or what are the condition? For example, in a Cartesian plane when more than one point is given, we can use the coordinate to calculate the internal division or the external division and these are also called the section formula. That means today we are going to discuss the section formula. The first thing comes in our mind, why we use section formula? What is the use of this section formula in the coordinate? So, let's take an example. The section formula, firstly we will discuss what is internal division in section formula. You can see internal division if a point P, you can see here, if a point P divides a line segment joining the point, point A, X1, Y1 and B, x2 y2 internally in the ratio m to the ratio n that means we have given two points a and b and this two points p is a point which divides the given point in the ratio m ratio n so what will be the condition the condition is if we have to find the coordinates of this p that means we have to find the value of x and y. How we will find? We will find with the help of this formula. What formula exactly say? The formula is if this is m ratio n and we have to find the coordinate of p. So x will be equal to m x2 plus n x1 on m plus n. This formula will give the value of x. If you will find the coordinate of P, this formula will give the value of P. As it is, this formula will give the value of Y. What the formula say? M Y2. Where is M? This one M. M Y2 plus N Y1 by M plus N. Means this formula will give the value of X and this formula will give the value of Y. So, we have discussed, we have what we have discussed if we have given two points like x1 y1 x2 y2 and there is a point p inside the line divides in the ratio m ratio n so what will be the condition the coordinates of the point p will be this and this as it is if this p point lies outside the line segment the condition will be you can see the external division what is external division if a point P, if a point P divides line segment joining the points same A X1, B X2, Y2 in the ratio M ratio N. That means in this condition P is outside the line segment. You can see this P X Y. Then, then coordinates of the P, P, then the coordinates of the P will be, will be you can see if you have to find the coordinates of P, so this will give the value of X and this will give the value of Y. What formula exactly says that? You can see M, this is the ratio M from this one to this and N from here to here. You can see dotted by red line. So this formula will give the value of X, M, X2. Where is M? This one M, X2, M, X2 minus N, X1, N, X1 upon M minus N. So, with the help of this formula, we can calculate the coordinate of P. You can say the value of X. And with the help of this formula, we can find out the value of Y. So, we have discussed if the point P lies inside the line segment or outside the line segment, what are the conditions? Let us take one more example. If M is equal to N, that means if M is equal to N, 
which means if there is a line this is a point a x1 y1 and there is a point b x2 y2 what we have discussed if the point p divides the point in the given ratio like m ratio n if i say if m is equal to n if m is equal to n that means m is equal to n means the length from this point to this point will be equal to length from this point to this point or you can say m ratio n will be 1 ratio 1 that means the value of m is 1 and value of n is also 1 so the formula will be converted to x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 this will give you the this will give you the value of x and this will give you the value of y so here it is a formula if m is equal to n so its coordinate will be x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 at last thanks for watching us stay with us for more videos thank you keep watching us your success is our success. Thank you.